you, will you listen to me? Listen, there's a two-hour special coming up next month. They want you. So does he. We'll watch it at home. No. Honey, honey, will you listen to me? Consolidated Studios is still offering that three-picture-a-year deal. He's offering me a lifetime guarantee. A guarantee of what? Security. Security on a college professor's salary, and he's not even in nuclear physics. That's where the loot is. But a mathematician, he can be replaced by IBM. <laughs> not after office hours. <laughs> you can forward my mail to Redwood College, Crocker, California. Darling, please. Look, I have heard of whirlwind courtships, but you've only known this man one hysterical weekend. Hysterical to you, beautiful to me. Well, at least wear your mink. Faculty wives do not wear mink. I'll keep it in cold storage until the annulment. Great engineering, like two classic Jaguars. With their motors still running. <laughs> I hate to interrupt your research, Jeffrey, but let's go and get married. Well, that's a very stimulating idea. Look, will somebody please listen to me? Red butter. Stop, pepper. <laughs> honey, honey, wait a minute, wait a minute, will you, wait a minute, honey, listen, will you please, there's there going to be some fantastic things coming up. Congratulations. I give it six months. <laughs> you know, if you're only a student here, why, we could use you in some of our drama club shows. Oh, I'm afraid not, Professor. Marriage and career just don't mix, so they say. Very perceptive, Mrs. Edwards. I'm sure you've noticed the same behavior pattern as I have. The people who need to express themselves on a stage are often merely exhibitionists. I wouldn't say that, Dudley. Uh, no, neither would I. Rather, I would say that they were acting out some childish fantasy, expressing some inner emotional lack. Now, since the time of the court jester... Excuse me, gentlemen, but I think you're indulging in generality. So do I. The performer is, after all, merely a slave to his talent. He is driven by a compulsion to express it, whether people want him to or not. And what is your attitude about performers, Jeff? Well, I uh, think there's a certain amount of truth in everything that's been said, but... Uh... But what? Well, let's not indict the poor performers. Perhaps they are acting out their pathetic little fantasies. Don't condemn them for their harmless exhibitionism. That's all they know. And remember, it takes two elements to create a show. Not only the performer, who may be making a spectacle of himself, but the audience that's cheering him on. Right? A little punch. I'm tempted, but I think I'll wait till I get home. <laughs> Who is it? It's your husband. I brought you a nightcap. Hey, hey well, where's that other thing? Your, your... Uh, My pen Oh, yeah. Oh, that was just a silly bit of exhibitionist fluff. Now that I found out why I was immature enough to wear it, I don't have to wear it anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make myself some hot milk. <laughs> It puts me to sleep the minute my head hits the pillow. Okay, see, you sound irritated. Oh, no, that was an hour ago. I've gotten over that. Now I'm furious. Oh, something one of the faculty said must have upset you. No, it's what they didn't say. All those people talking about me like I was a specimen on a slide. And where were you? Focusing the microscope. Oh, oh, oh that little discussion about show business. Well, I, I, I personally thought some of it was rather stimulating. Like being burned at the stake. Oh, but I mean, intellectually speaking, it was a marvelous... Intellectually speaking? You weren't so intellectual when you picked me up at the parking meter in my unintellectual black leotard. Don't tell me you were doing research on the female in show business when you asked me to kiss you goodnight in the rumble seat of your car when it wasn't even night yet. I'm going to get you a sedative. You know, it seems to me that you're confusing the biological attraction between the sexes, which in our case is all there, thank heaven, with the intelligent debate. If it was a debate, whose side were you on? 